Hi, ah. we're back. Hello. Um, so it we have the next game up and ready. Uh, can you just check your sound? I don't trust myself. Yep, you got it. It's cool. good. You're good. Um, we are here with Halloween Scrooge for this one. Uh, I, from what I understand, it wasn't finished yet, but they got a chapter done. It's about three thousand words, I think. So this will probably be a bit shorter. But um, I was very attracted to this one by the art style, and I saw all the sketches and different line arts and everything else throughout the um, throughout the contest in the Discord. So I was just really drawn to it. And then once I saw that it was also a part of the LGBTQIA plus list, I think um, that just totally told that, that told me I had to be here playing it. Not totally told told that would be weird. Um, I had to play it. <laughs> So I guess since you were the narrator last time, I'll take narration this time. I, I just, I love the the tiny little blurb underneath it for the submission. A Christmas carol, except it's Halloween, and you can <laughs> flirt with the ghosts. Oh, all like, right. who wouldn't want that? That That is a also, great start. Here's the, here's the link to it. There you go. The link is in the chat for those who need to see it. Don't forget to, if you if you enjoyed watching us play along with these, don't forget to go to their individual pages and rate the games. They're, they're, I'm sure we'll know how this one is afterwards, but I'm sure it's also going to be amazing. So just, just, uh, I'm sure it, it would, it would, every single time I see a new rating on my game, I'm really happy about it. So I'm sure they will be too. So make sure to reach out and tell them how much you love the, the playthrough. Uh, with that, I think we can go into it. Yeah. Once I'm done and rambling. And also, if, if people put, like, as much effort into it as everyone that's a part of this production team has seen you and all of the artists and everyone else work on uh, All That Ails You... I think this one was a God, solo project. Everyone involved is just absolutely incredible, and you guys are... I can't even begin to comprehend what it's like to do that whole thing with just a month. Yeah. And, like... Every single one of these games that I'm seeing, I am in awe, in shock. Y'all are incredible. So just, mwah, all of my love, all of my appreciation goes and out to you. And I think we'll be back again tomorrow. I know I will be. I wanna, I'm wanna. i I'm really enjoying playing these games on stream, so I'm going to be back tomorrow again with more. But since we're still here, let's go ahead and, and do this one. Uh, I don't know if there's preferences. I turned off the sound and voice because we do our own. I don't know if there's music, but we will find out. Here we go. Huh? This one also oh just, my God. Are we also Flarbit? No. No, Flarbit is a one-time thing. Okay. Who are we this time? I don't know. Who are you? Mm. Who are you really? Flarbit Scrooge. Aw. Can't do it. Ah, it could be ten letters. Scro Scrooge bit. Scrooge bit. Scrooge bit. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Great name, Great Scrooge, name Scrooge Bit. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love it. This all oh, is this is cute. Gorgeous. Is this like a little cul-de-sac? This gives me like sorry, it, just fresh off the bat, it gives me Dream Daddy vibes. This is really amazing. Um, I saw the line art for this. I didn't see the finished one originally. Um, there's so much detail here. Like even with just. I want to see if I can see if there's anything on that license plate. I don't think there is. It H. No, can't catch it. Uh, the move it. it. The little ghosts in the corner here. One on top That's of the roof. So this is this is such a good feeling here. God, those uh, giant skeleton decorations this? always give me anxiety because of the people that spend so much time like building them up. And like, and it's I'm like, spooky. oh my god. And, and then also... there's this little cat right here. Aww. I don't see any bunnies. Oh. No bunnies this time. Oh, It's almost evening by the time the movers finish getting everything off the truck and into my home. Sure, I've got no family or friends here, but it's a fresh start and a great opportunity. All that matters is that after four hours, 100 kilometers, and an expensive moving bill, I'm here in Ravenville, ready to start my new life. Is it expecting too much to think I might even need- I might even find someone special in the city? Maybe. Maybe I should accept my expectations low for now. 
I, I just like the idea that that happens and then just like someone just pops in and said, did someone say low expectations? Look at the color change. <laughs> that was some really good. That is. That's really pretty. And then the shadows change. The, the truck is gone. I just truck realized gone. the truck's gone. I stand in the driveway as the truck pulls away and take in the sight of my new neighborhood while there's still sunlight. While there's still sunlight. The street is almost completely silent. The only sound to be heard are the occasional call of the solitary crow and the soft ah! ruffle, rustle of wind in the treetops. Were you the crow? Yes. <laughs> the leaves... Ah, 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 murder! Murder! Ah! No. <laughs> the, murder! Leaves, the leaves are slow to change color this year, but otherwise the scene looks stunningly picturesque. It does. I feel like this oh, is yeah. a call... If this is a self, um, self-dev, self yeah, you, you're calling yourself out for how awesome you are also at drawing. It looks incredible. Whoever it. drew this, this is gorgeous. I've been here to I've been here to view the house, of course, but that was months ago, and I hadn't realized at the time how passionate my soon-to-be neighbors were about the holidays or Halloween, at least. Jack o' lanterns, witch statues, and fake cobwebs adorn almost every lawn and roof. The neighbors next doors have a mass of plastic skeletons towering over their house. One arm raised as if to wave hello. It is waving hello. hello. It makes my house look pretty plain in comparison, but I don't really feel like getting into the spirit of it all. Standing here, looking at all these elaborate displays of, frankly, obsession towards this holiday. I'm beginning to realize that Halloween just isn't for someone like me. It's for my friends posting their couples' costumes and children's. Is this about me? I... <laughs> posting. I was just about to say, like, what kind of Killjoy Scrooge is this? But when you said that, oh no. Posting their couples' costumes and children's costumes as they experience the holiday for the first time. Why do the rest of us need to play along? This is me. <laughs> it only makes me feel old. And... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Old and fuck. <laughs> That's not in the line, but also old and fuck. <laughs> a cold breeze chills me as I snap out of my spiraling self-pity. Oh, I feel that. Uh, right, I've got my own- I've got tears in my eyes from the call out I'm having. Right, I've got my own place and my own new job lined up. What am I even complaining about? I head inside, pausing for a second in the doorway. The lingering doubt is nagging at me. Maybe I should make a trip to the store and get candy and decorations for tomorrow. At the very least, it would make a good impression on my neighbors. <sighs> nah, screw peer pressure. I'm just gonna skip Halloween this year. I mean, Lights off, no decorations, no candy. I've only just moved in anyways. Give me a break. I mean, good on you for saying screw peer pressure, but also at the same time, you are abandoning Halloween. Fuck you. Later that night later that night. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Books! The backgrounds are really pretty. I like, they, 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 did, they did a really good job. <gasps> I like that they got the cross, like, stitching of the, like... Oh, that's so pretty. It's neat. Knock, knock. Knock, knock, bitches. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Knock, knock, bitches. <laughs> I, wake with a, I wake with a start at the sound of a knock at my door. It takes me a second to make sense of my surroundings, and I remember that I fell asleep on the couch. I, a glance at my phone tells me it's just past midnight. What could be so important at this hour? Knock, 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 mother! Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> well, it is, it is devil's night. Might just be some troublesome kids trying to prank their new neighbor. I wouldn't be surprised if they've already egged my house, too. Knock, knock, knock! I don't know if that's picking up on the mic or not. The knocking grows a little more impatient, ruling out any chance of this just being kids playing Ding Dong Ditch. What should I do? Save. That's what you should do. <laughs> what do I look like? A horror movie protagonist? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. That's that's my that makes me laugh. <laughs> Is it really okay to let them keep knocking? Yes. Uh, I'm not, no. No, I'm not gonna bother looking. Yeah, whoever it is can come back tomorrow. It's far too late for me to deal with whatever they want. I'm sure it's fine. Sir, ma or ma'am, your house is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Local asshole. But, oh, oh. Just as I'm about uh -oh. to close my eyes again, 
An unusually clad figure materializes in front of me, seemingly out of thin air. I sit up with a stir. Hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I know this situation is weird and scary, but it isn't fear that paralyzes me in shock. When he appeared, it seemed as if the temperature dropped a few, de a few degrees in the room, and yet looking at him makes me feel warm. Makes me feel warm. <laughs> oh my god, stop. <laughs> Maybe it's his bright orange hair and cloak. Maybe it's the scent of my cr- Wait. Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe it's the scent of, <laughs> of crushed fall. I thought we were about to get banned. Uh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> my crushed fall leaves, pumpkin and cinnamon that accompanies him. Or maybe it's just my exhaustion sparking these crazy thoughts. But damn, you hot. <laughs> hey, baby, can I get your number? What? Here you go. How long were you going to keep me waiting out there? Ooh, okay, okay. I could fall in love with that voice. Uh, <laughs> forever? I don't remember inviting you in. How did you get into my house? Who even are you? What does it look like? I'm Jack. Goes to Halloween history. The fuck? 911! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Christmas past, and that doesn't really answer the question of how he appeared in front of me. Never mind that. How did you get in here, as I have asked three times? Well, you just moved in, and your door's unlocked, dipshit. <laughs> your door's unlocked. You didn't lock your door. <sighs> did you even hear me? I said I'm a ghost. You need a second demonstration or something? Actually, yes. Could you do a second demonstration? No, okay. Lovely. I've got an angry ghost in my living room right now. I instinctively glance around for my cell phone, just in case. Why are you getting mad at me? You're the one who barged in here in the middle of the night. Do you know how scary it is for some random dude to poof into my house at midnight claiming to be a ghost? Jack sighs and begrudgingly admits to my point, I think. You're right. I apologize, Scrooge bit. I didn't mean to get angry at you. It's been a lengthy night for me. How does he know my name? Is he a stalker or something? Do I have an attractive stalker or something? Hello. Great. Hello. Now, can you please leave? I'm going to call the cops. His frown deepens and he stares at me like I'm some misbehaving child who's getting on his nerves. Do you believe me? You, do be you don't believe me, do you? Fuck. I can't read. It's only logical. I'm sure there's grogginess had me imagining things when I saw him fade in here. There's no way I witnessed what I witnessed was real. Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, actually. I, I don't know what you want, but you can't just come inside someone's house if they don't answer the door. I mentally assess my exit routes in case I need to escape. Then look again, carefully. Sure enough, he fades away, becoming okay. gradually translucent before disappearing entirely, then materializes it about ten seconds later. You're up. <laughs> Do you believe me now? Daddy? Daddy? <laughs> Daddy? Sorry. Daddy? <laughs> For the first time since we've met, he smiles. It's a much better look. Yeah, hello. <laughs> it's a much better look on him than a perpetual scowl. I mean, I guess I don't have a choice, but I just moved in here. Are you sure you don't have the wrong person? I'm here for you, Scrooge bit, because you've started to dislike Halloween. I don't remember getting a hot, attractive person appearing in my room when I started to dislike Halloween. Ugh, see, that's my problem. I never stopped. I never stopped liking Halloween. I guess I gotta stop this year just to get him to visit me. Yeah, that's fair. You were planning to turn off your lights and skip it this year, weren't you? That's all. Okay, that's all it takes. Okay, we, we really need to have a discussion here about what it should take. <laughs> what do you mean, that's all? I mean, I'm sure there are thousands of people feeling disenfranchised. This is me with Halloween each Oof. year. I've never heard anyone getting a visit from a fancy ghost because of it. Look, I don't get to choose who I visit. The list of names is given to me. You'll be visited by three ghosts tonight. Myself and two others. Okay. Cool. You gotta choose which one of us you want to date at the end of the game. <laughs> I really hope so. Uh... Guess it explains why he's already seemed to know who I am. What's with the paper crown anyway? Okay, no more questions from uh, I guess that explains why you already seem to know who I am. I was given a lot of information about you, yes. Mildly uncomfortable. 
So you also know that I'm single. Eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. <laughs> so, this isn't a dating game. Aww. <laughs> Aww, too bad. <laughs> See? Bruh, bruh, wait, wait, no, hold on, hold on. It says you can flirt with the- oh, you can flirt with the ghosts. You can't- I don't think you can date them. Fuck. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, you're in this chat still, right? Please tell me we can date the ghosts later. Can we date him? Can we date the ghosts later? <laughs> like, they they hot, not gonna lie. Aw, oh, too bad. Okay, so I guess... As I said, I'm the spirit of Halloween history. My role is to protect the memories of, that children make of Halloween. Children call me the King of Pumpkins. The crown became a symbol. So, what does it have to do with me? I'm not a child. You ask far too many questions. You are far too attractive. <laughs> Listen, man's is hot. If you have no more questions, let's get going. I don't have all night. But I'm in my pajamas. Yeah, it's your costume. Relax, you'll be in spirit form. No one will see you anyway. Before I have a chance to protest, my surroundings fade to black. Next thing I know, we're standing in the middle of a classroom full of noisy children no older than four or five. Uh -huh. Most of them are seated in their tiny chairs around the table covered in juice boxes and snack-laden paper plates. All right, Look let's at take the a little look at kid this. dressed as Aang! I love it! Oh my god, there is! That's so uh -huh. cute! Ah! Oh, cutie. Witch here. Oh my god. This is so also, cute. Also, just, just Jack's stance and just the way that he holds himself kind of reminds me of... Uh, oh. I don't know what they changed his name to, but the cowboy from Overwatch okay. they changed his name. So that that's kind of the vibe that he's given me. So I'm like, mm, mwah, even better. Hello, handsome. That must have... I, I would have gone crazy doing the A-A-B-B-C-C. I would have gone crazy doing that. I know it's not, but it looks like... Yeah. Ab <laughs> Uh, These all the different. Okay, yeah. <laughs> all the different kids and how many stars they get, probably. Yeah. So who's the good kid? Probably the kid dressed as Aang. No, all right. Uh, how do I bring this back? <laughs> Most of them are seated in their tiny chairs around the table, covered in juice boxes and snacks laden paper plates. The assortment of chips, gummies, and Halloween-themed candies they're eating makes me nostalgic for these little school parties we'd hold to, celebrating up to celebrate upcoming holidays. I did feel out of place and subconscious, but the kids don't seem to notice us. Jack did say we were we would be invisible, and he did teleport us here like magic. I should just trust him. Why should I Recognize just- Recognize this I'd, place? I wouldn't trust him yet, but okay. <laughs> Recognize this place? Uh, am I supposed- I was actually gonna answer that no matter what. <laughs> yeah. Am I supposed to? You don't remember your kindergarten class? Guess you're older than you look. Oh, why is every shot at my soul? <laughs> I'm being called old, and I feel old. <laughs> oh. I ignore his lighthearted teasing and glance around the small room at the costume children. Almost all the kids are dressed up as in the usual assortment of popular costume. Princesses, cowboys, pirates, Aang. My gaze wanders to the children making children playing near the carpet. I spot a more unusual getup that immediately makes me smile at Aang. <laughs> I think I see my I think I see my kid self over there beside the story corner easel. Wait, what? There's a No, there's no kid there, but Oh, which one are we? <laughs> <sighs> I hate ketchup. Same. So I guess I'm I'm the one dressed like a cup of soda. Oh okay. my god. <gasps> Hold on. Yes. Jack moves aside, looking in the direction of my pointed finger to a pair of kids at the back of the classroom. One is dressed as a comically sized soda cup. I that is it. definitely me. Yeah, that was me, all right. 
I know it even without seeing my face, because no one knows my face. It's a wonder I could even see through these those costume eye holes. Can't say I've ever seen a costume like that for children. It looks professional quality, like a mascot or something. My grandma made it for me. She used to be a costume designer for theater. Oh. And you took that up advantage of that too. Great effect, clearly. That's cute. Are you flirting back? Are you flirting back? Do you think I'm cute because I would do this? <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> I do what? You making fun of me? <laughs> I meant it. Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable, though. No, I mean, you're not. I'm just not used to it. Uh, never what? mind. Let's, let's move on. Never mind. Let's, let's move on. You he clears his throat awkwardly, avoiding my gaze <clears throat> as he composes himself. Cute. He quickly changes the topic before I can ask anything else. You ever miss this? I mean, the Halloween pizza parties and the not school me. costume parades. <laughs> You ever wish you could go back and relive, relive Holly, uh, Hollywood Halloween as a kid? I've never really thought about it. I loved Halloween as a kid, though. I used to drag my parents trick or treating across three neighborhoods every year until I could go until I could go out by myself. Oh. Most years, it was cold by the end of October. It was so cold by the end of October that I had to wear a coat over my. It's the person who made this Canadian because that's what it feels like. It happens here too. Like, but I've also seen use. I've also seen use in places <laughs> that usually they wouldn't be. Okay, fair enough. But somehow, that disappointment never overshadowed the fun and excitement of it all. Even now, the nostalgia of this decorated classroom fills me with a happy warmth. A very happy warmth of this jack-o'-lantern. Look at his eyes. So, your job mm -hmm. is to help people remember their good Halloween memories or something? Something like that. He answers vaguely, adjusting his cloak. The scent of autumn leaves and cinnamon- oh my god. And cinnamon teases me again and I get distracted for a second. I fucking mm. smell. You said your job is to make sure children's memories of Halloween stay jo joyful? See, we're listening when I was talking earlier. I mean, I'm not just staring at you for no reason. I level a frown at him when he finally decides to elaborate. I'm fine. I'll stop wasting both our time. You're getting pretty close by getting to getting it right, though. People tend to selectively remember those good times, even without my interference. I've heard of rose-colored glasses, of course. And sure, there are a lot of crappy things that can happen to a kid on Halloween. Maybe you catch a cold and can't go out one year, or it rains, or it snows. Maybe you only get candy you hate, or, God forbid, apples and healthy snacks. Yep. I've definitely had my fair share of those years. Dentists and teachers are the worst offenders for healthy treats. That's actually... Oh, yeah. So, one of the dentists in my area would always give out the full candy bars. Oh. Um... Are you kidding me? Yeah. I had a, like, my fourth grade teacher lived a couple blocks away from me, and she would always give out, like, healthy candies. And I was like, that doesn't exist. Stop it. And everyone Get would out. be hitting them up because, um, I don't know why, but I think they would spend hundreds of dollars on full-size oh, candy bars and just handing them out, like, oh, Henry's, and it, it was it was great. Anyways, oh. it was all the things that, like, a dentist is clear. Maybe they were just trying to make our teeth bad, so we'd have to go in. I, I don't know. <laughs> It wasn't until about high school that I learned where the places are that give out full candy bars around uh, me. But, hell, that was a good time in high school. <laughs> yep. All those things are earth-shattering tragedies to a kid. So you expect them to overshadow your happy memories and leave a bad impression on Halloween overall, right? I nod. To put it simply, good memories have a lot of power. You remember how heavy your bag felt when you hauled it home, stuffed with candy. And how exciting it was to have a mountain of mystery treats to sort through. You remember the thrill of trick-or-treating without your parents for the first time. And the freedom of staying out with your friends until curfew on Halloween night. So, while I surpass the bad memories, Sup I also suppress. make sure you don't lose the one that suppressed. Fucking, I can't read! 
So while I suppress the bad memories, I also make sure you don't lose the fun ones that made your childhood fun, that made your Halloween nights fun. I mull over his explanation for a moment, trying to think of an answer more genuine and respectful than cool, 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 cool. Cool. His explanation doesn't make any sense in a world where science exists. That's also true. (laughs) Cool. But on the other hand, I'm literally in my childhood classroom right now in my pajamas with some handsome ghost beside me. There must be some room for fantastical powers to be at play. That, or I'm still dreaming. Maybe the carbon monoxide detector's going off. (laughs) Damn, they really didn't uh, inspect the house before I moved in. As I think about pinching myself to check, a small pipe voice pipes up from beside us. Oh, God. Hey, mister! Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Look Aww. at the pirate! Look at the... Ah, Look at the pirate! I love the hair! The changing so colors! Cute. See, like, from She's the brown so into the pink! Oh, yeah. that's so cute! Oh. We both look down to see a small girl in a pirate costume gazing up at Jack with big, bright eyes. She's grinning from ear to ear, and I shoot a Jack. A, I shoot Jack a panicked, questioning glare, only to get a silent shrug in response. You're kidding, right? This girl can see us. Maybe she can only see him. I like your costume. Are you the Pumpkin King? I am. It's a very nice pirate costume you're wearing. You're not a pirate. I'm a pirate captain. I stifle a snorted laugh at the image of this shining child schooling an otherworldly spirit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the humor is great. This is great. I love it. She notices me for the first time, her bright eyes analyzing me pensively. Oh, God, I'm in my PJs. Oh, God, she can see us. Oh, God, you can't. No, don't acknowledge me. Oh. Are you in your pajamas? Are you dressed up as someone going to sleep? Yes, you're having a nightmare. Go back to your seat. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> My jaw practically drops as I glance at Jack, who smirks perfectly at me in response. The girl looks away for a moment, and Jack waves one gloved hand in a half circle gesture. The children in the classroom <laughs> disappear, and we're back in my living room. Now, we're not ready to unpack all that. Okay. Sir, you're hot. But I thought you said no one could see us in spirit form. What was that? It doesn't happen often, but there are some kids out there with supernatural sight. I'm usually warned about that in advance, but it looks like my paperwork was incomplete this time. Okay, there's a problem. We time traveled back in time, and now she oh, knows no. that I was in two places at the same time. Oh god. <laughs> I'm going to rate this experience 2 out of 5. Who's your manager? I'm filing a complaint. Maybe <laughs> Karen. Not sure you want to meet my manager. I have a feeling I don't, actually. I'm amused that he went along with the joke. <laughs> but they've got Karen's in the gross <laughs> world, too. That's depressing. In any case, that sums up my time with you tonight, Scrooge Bit. He pauses for a moment as if considering what he's about to say next. Take care with the other two visitors. Is that, is that a glint of flirting in your eyes, too? You can't just say that kind of thing without elaborating. You'll see for yourself. I have to leave now, though. Will I see you again? (laughs) Heart! Heart! Predictably, he flusters at the response. I'm ever visiting you again like this. That means I failed at my task here, so... Yeah, I don't need you to visit I hope like there's that. no reason for that. You don't have to visit like that. You can just come to the door, knock politely. I will answer the door, and then we can go to a movie. <laughs> I raise one eyebrow at that answer, and he backtracks quickly. Not because I don't want to see you again. I mean, it's just not like that. I can't hold back my grin anymore, and his brow furrows in frustration at the sight. Stop enjoying this can't help it it's too fun he sighs and i think i see the tiniest hint of a smile yeah is there is there i mean if we turn it upside down there's definitely a smile there there we go good night scrooge bit is that all is that all that's left or or do we still have no, it's, he's a handsome boy and just like that i'm alone in my living room again 30 and single Oof. Uh, actually, I'm going to take single off of my profiles. Um, 
undeniably flirting with spirit of Halloween history. <laughs> That's my new thing. Oh my god. Can I, can I change? Yeah, Wait, do we still have the person in chat? Do we still have the creator in chat? Creator, is it okay if I just change my Twitter bio to <laughs> undeniably dating the spirit of Halloween history? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Fucking love them. That wasn't so bad, I guess. It was weird seeing a glimpse of my childhood through the lens of an adulthood. Of adulthood. Adulthood. I'm not really sure how it's supposed to convince me that I can still enjoy Halloween now, though. I plop down on the couch and absentmindedly look around the room. Jack didn't say when the next visitor would be here. Am I supposed to go to sleep? If this were a Christmas carol, I'd, I'd have a fancy grandfather clock ominously chiming BONG BONG to announce each arrival, but it's not. So I check the time on my phone, it's almost 1am. Knock, 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 knock. Knock, knock. Looks like you don't have to wait long after all. Whoever's knocking is clearly in good spirits. <laughs> spirits. I was going to say that even without the line here. <laughs> <laughs> the knock was more like a song than I mean. <laughs> Did you somehow get into my head? I don't understand. I love this. I crossed the foyer and opened the door directly this time without checking the people. It's not like I can avoid meeting them after all. Daddy. Daddy? Sorry. Daddy? Daddy? Sorry. Daddy? Is that like a, a sheer cloak o coat over I them? I think so. Like one of those fabric, like... That's cool. I like it. Oh. <laughs> the man standing on my doorstep no. is just dressed like a skeleton in a skeleton hoodie and clear plastic jacket. His face lights up when he sees me. Oh, they didn't tell me there'd be someone so cute on my list today. Don't flirt with me. I'm on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I closed the door. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I would also close the door and then be leaning against it like, mm, Wait, wait, wait. I'm the flirter. You're not allowed to do this. <laughs> I have to clear wait, wait, tears wait. from my eyes. I love this so much. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing, he passes, He phases through the closed door. There's barely any room between us in the entranceway, and I take a step back instinctively. Come on, don't be like that. Don't tell me you're as boring as that pumpkin head. You just surprised me. You didn't strike me as a... A ghost? He interrupts me and closes the space between us, grabbing one of my hands before I can take another step. Hello. Wait, wow. his hand is solid? But he just walked through the door after I closed it. Maybe I'm not a ghost. He raises his hand to my lips as if to kiss me. His striking crimson colored eyes fixated on my face. I know I can pull my hand away at any time, but this is too spicy for Twitch. But his eyes have oh. his almost... <laughs> I singly gasp on me. Oof. Suddenly, Oof. my hand phases through his fingers as if they were just air and drops to my side. Or maybe I am? He grins mischievously at me. Or mischievously. Whichever. Well, all I can do is shake myself out of my stunned silence. Heesh. <laughs> that was... That was kind Are you of just going to flirt with all of them? I mean, can I not? <laughs> I'm flirting with I love all it. the ghosts. So, are you going to tell me your name before you continue hitting on me? Uh, What's the rush, Scrooge bit? We'll have plenty of time together. Duh. Plenty of time to get to know each other. Don't worry. Uh, okay. Endo. Endo. Um, endo skeleton, I'm assuming. <laughs> uh, this guy is completely different from Jack. He's making me a little concerned about what kind of a wild card my third visitor will be. Death. I'm Endo. Oh my god. I'm Endo. The ghost of Halloween happiness. Or hedonism, if you prefer. You can't spell the hedonism without the E-N-D-O, after all. 
Okay, that's the stream. The stream is over now. No. <laughs> yeah. That is incredible. Okay, so we get along. Scrooge bit understands me. Yeah. All right, endoskeleton. Mr. Endoskeleton, what wins? What wisdom are you here to impart? I'm not here to impart anything. I'm just gonna have fun. Are you the spirit here. of teenage rebellion? <laughs> he reaches into his pocket and hands me a wrapped lollipop. I eye it questioningly, and the smile disappears from his face, replaced by a half frown, half pout. Oh, you want me to? All right. It's just candy. I promise. He looks a little disappointed by my hesitance, but still holds it out to me expectantly. Jack must have told you I'm some kind of monster or something, huh? That stick in the mud prince just doesn't know how to have a good time. Well, he didn't really. It's just common sense not to take food from strangers, isn't it? Especially when they're not humans. Okay, that's kind of mean. <laughs> a little bit. No offense. None taken, but I'm not here to hurt you, you know? I'm not as boring as the other two, either. I take the candy to appease him, but I'm still not planning on eating it. If Endo is offended by my hesitancy to trust him, he doesn't show it. He snaps his fingers and the living room disappears. I blink and we've been transported to... The bedroom! The end of this demo! Oh, no! Yeah. I figured that was no! coming. I figured that was coming. Motherfucker. That was so good. Yeah, that was really good. I like all the backgrounds a lot. The backgrounds are amazing. Oh, I um, love this. All the characters are adorable. The writing is really nice. Um, let's see. Are there credits? Or is it just a one-person gig? Uh, I think it's just the one person. Uh, we get through here. Thank you for playing. There are credits. Make sure to follow. Hamilton. We're going to follow right after this. Um, yep, the game was solo developed, and there's all their information. Please make sure to go and follow them if you liked what you saw, and please go and rate the game. It was really great. Uh, we it had was. a wonderful experience. Um, Yoink! There's the Twitter for the creator. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of people who are expecting that this is going to be a dating simulator, so I really hope that this is secretly a dating simulator. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> um, that was fun, flirting um, with all the different ghosts and oh playing along. It, it got us another, by the looks of it, okay, so it wasn't 10 minutes when we do it and, and, and flirt with ghosts. It takes us 30 minutes. Yeah, we basically tack on an extra 20 because of all the voices and shit talking jokes yeah, we make. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to add a dating sim, but like it was it was really fun flirting and that's all the so flirting fun. was great. Um, <laughs> I loved it. The writing is really well done so it, it really feels like each character is an individual person, which is important because sometimes writing doesn't have that, but that, that was really good. Um, this is wonderful. Just a wonderful it experience. It really is. Um, I will, I don't know how we can break up the two videos. Um, I might have to, I, I want to put the Let's Play on their page as well. So I'll have to talk to our director about how we're going to do that. Yeah, but, we'll have to talk about her. Um, our, uh, our tech support, our, <laughs> our in-group tech support. And yeah, uh, thank you for joining us for streaming. Uh, we'll probably, I'm, I'm going to think about it tonight. I'm going to look over the games and see if there's another one. I'll see if someone else will join me. Um, if someone else can't join me, I probably won't do it. But uh, if someone can, we'll probably be back tomorrow with another stream. Uh, another, and These are probably games. two of the best that we could have asked for. I love them. They were really fun. Really fun. And all right. Oh, that this great. has been Thembos and Dragons playing Spooktober Game Jam games. Don't Thank forget you guys to check so out. Much. Don't forget to check out all that ails you, which is the game I I created. If if it with with Mackie, Sam, um, so many other people here that are loved and amazing. Uh, I have Danny the most did important Todd. line. Uh, <laughs> it's the most important line in the whole series. Yep, the most important line. <laughs> Todd's best character. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow. I'll play. All right. Right. I have to hit Thank the button to let so us leave. Thank you guys so much for watching. Which button lets us leave? <laughs> There's the button. I don't know. <laughs>